Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega. It's five month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Hello, hello, hello! It is I, Professor Von Himmel. Oh, so far, our mission through outer space has been very, very successful. Why, in fact, we just got a message from Ambassador Nofutu, and he said many people on his home planet, Jerusalem, have given their hearts to the Lord Jesus. And now he and Lieutenant Dan are going to spend the next couple of weeks sharing the gospel on planet Ferris. Professor? Oh. Professor? Oh, there you are. The yes, commander wanted me to look for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, where is the commander? Oh, well, he's gone. He teleported down to planet Bithynia for a missionary strategy meeting. Okay. And he said that we should program Skylab Omega to meet him there. Oh. And since Lieutenant Dan is absent, he wants you to... Um, uh... Did he fall asleep on the ladder? Dr. Sarmanex? Dr. Sarmanex! Oh, the dimensions of space can be measured in parsecs. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Dr. Sarmanex, uh, you were telling me something about Lieutenant Dan? Oh, yes. Um, since Lieutenant Dan is not here to navigate, yes. the commander said that you should set the ship's course for Bithynia. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, Bithynia is several parsecs away, and yes. it's been a long time since I mapped a map uh, star course. I will have to remember my old training. Oh. Yeah, I think I do remember some. Computer, uh, would you please update us on our current heading. Aye, aye. Skylab Omega passing the star of my CR oh. on course to planet. Uh-oh. Oh, planet uh-oh? Where, where is planet uh-oh? There is no planet uh-oh. I was saying uh-oh because I have detected solar flares coming from the star of my CR. Oh, then we simply cannot go that way. A solar flare could burst Skylab Omega into in a tiny cinder. That would not be a good thing, yes. Okay, um, computer, please reroute our course, map a new course, and uh, bring us through the galaxy of Troas. Aye, yeah. aye. Reversing course and setting coordinates for planet. Uh oh Planet uh-oh again? No, I was saying uh-oh because we just entered an asteroid belt. An asteroid belt? Uh-oh, we must take evasive action. Oh, Professor, yes. you must drive the ship. Oh, no, I'm a terrible driver. Oh, but, you drive the ship. Oh, yeah. but you, you invented Skylab Omega. You must do it. Well, that's true, but you helped me build it, so you have to drive it. No, yeah. but, but, sir, you are the commanding officer, so you oh. are going to steer this ship right. Oh, no. I guess I have to steer the ship. Okay, let me think. Oh, uh, you can do this, Professor. You, oh, you can do this, Professor. You just have to remember your simulator training. A computer, would you please switch us over to manual mode and show me on the screen the asteroid belt? Aye, aye. That is not an asteroid belt. That's a video game. Oops. And I'm Sorry. winning, too. <laughs> I'm doing really good. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. All right, hold on tight, kids. Wow, that's a lot of asteroids. We are in for a bumpy ride. Uh, Whoa! Wow! <laughs> that was really loud. I know. Oh, be careful, yeah. Professor. I'm trying. Whoa! 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 Congratulations, Skylab Omega is safe. Oh, you did it, Professor. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we did it. We did it. Oh, praise uh, God. Oh, oh, man. Oh, guess what? What? Now that we have gone through that detour to the asteroid belt, we are several light years away from planet Bithynia. How are we going to get back there and pick up Commander Cosmos? Well, I don't recommend going back through that asteroid oh, no, belt. No, no, no. We should check the star map for another route. Great idea. Computer, show us the star map, please. Yeah. I think, oh yes. 
Oh, look, there's a wormhole over by planet Galatia. We should go that way, yes? Uh-oh, our ship's readouts are telling me that our shields took some significant damage during that Ooh. asteroid shower. I don't think our ship could handle the stress of wormhole travel. Wow, another closed door. Somebody really doesn't want us to go to Bithynia. Yeah. Message. Incoming message. Incoming message from where? Please send someone. Come to Macedonia. Macedonia? Yes. Speak up, I can hardly Please. hear you. Uh, computer, boost the signal. Too late. Transmission lost. Oh, man. I think the Holy Spirit is trying to tell us something. And I know just where to get the answers. I'll get the Bible out right now. Good. You do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he fell asleep again, didn't he? Help me wake him up. Dr. Summonix? Oh, I travels faster than sound. That's science. <laughs> May I have the Bible, please? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, um, uh, ah, Macedonia! I knew that sounded familiar. This is the very same thing that happened to the Apostle Paul at Macedonia. Uh, excuse me, Professor. Don't you mean the Apostle Saul? Well, actually, by this point, everyone was calling him by his Greek name, Paul. Oh, Roger. <laughs> no, not Roger, Paul. Oh, right. Well, so God changed Saul's name to Paul? Roger. I mean, Paul. Uh, I mean, yes, correct, yes. yes. You see, Paul and his friends went through an adventure just like the one we just went through. Oh. They tried several ways to get to the place they wanted to go, but the Holy Spirit closed every door. I didn't know the Holy Spirit could close doors. He can, and he will to protect us from harm. Oh. But most of the time, he simply guides us. Sort of like the ship's computer. But I am not holy. Uh, no, you are not holy, but you do steer our ship with your internal galactic positioning system. You steer our ship and guide us away from paths that might lead us to danger. And that is exactly what the Holy Spirit does. Yes. He is sort of like our spiritual GPS. Yes. And on this day, he was guiding Paul to the place God wanted him to go. And that is why all the other ways were blocked. I believe that God might be trying to tell us the same thing. Why don't we check the virtual Bible and okay, see what that says? Right. Oh, what does it say? After Paul had seen the vision, we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. Macedonia! Of course! God wants us to go to planet Macedonia and share the gospel. Now oh. this makes sense! I just remembered. There is a repair station on planet Macedonia with a master mechanic who may be able to fix our shields. Well, then that settles it. Computer, reroute our course. I think God wants us to pay a little visit to planet Macedonia. Well, it looks like the Holy Spirit is guiding us after all. Well, that's a truth that never changes. After all, say it with us, kids. Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the same, same yesterday. Today, today, and forever to Macedonia!